Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning and those who have joined the Love and Audit Goodish Gang fam, bam, you know I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every like, every view, every subscriber, every comment. Thank you so much for loving on your girl. So, this is going to be a Zodiac reading. I am going to hit every sign. I'm not going to do an intro. For every sign so the intro may be the same if you watch multiple signs um you can do your sun sign also your moon sign but you know everybody has all not all zodiac signs but we have different zodiac signs in our birth chart so if you feel that you are drawn to another zodiac sign based off of the thumbnail or the title and i have no clue what i'm gonna title them yet because i ain't did them yet okay uh <laughs> be drawn and guided to Whatever you can watch all 12 if you want to or whichever ones you're drawn to don't just watch your sun and your moon um, Because I feel that there will be messages in all of them Okay, but I'm gonna be dropping more zodiac readings that are gonna hit other areas, but I ain't finna tell nobody We just gonna wait till they drop. Okay, so <laughs> Go to your zodiac sign and I hope you enjoy the reading peace love and light Hey, hey, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. If you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning and those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang fam, bam. Y'all know I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate every like, every comment, every view, and every subscriber. Before we get into the reading, make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell as my schedule is sporadic right now, as I'm trying to find time to really make these videos for you, okay? And if you do enjoy the content, please subscribe. I would love for you to join the Love and Audit Goodish Gang. So, enough chit chat, cancers. This reading is what soul lessons you are learning right now and what spirit has to say about those soul lessons okay so bam bam those who are used to my channel y'all notice y'all don't have no cards out here okay because we're gonna freestyle today i didn't take no notes we're gonna straight channel and just see what spirit wants to let you know in regards to these soul lessons so let's get into it all right so we're gonna use my soul lessons deck and we're just going to see what soul lesson you are working on at this time i did not want to put a time limit on this so you can do this for like the next 30 days you can do this however long you want all of my readings are timeless and i feel like some people haven't even found me on youtube yet so whenever you watch this is when you are meant to find it okay clear the energy of this set. all right spirit can you tell me what soul lessons are cancer working on right now and we have friendship and surrender. Look at that there. Both of those purple crown chakra, okay? So with friendship, we have, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And then we have surrender. I can release my need to control. So off the bat, with all of this purple, definitely crown chakra. And I'm getting with the crown chakra Maybe you need to be more knowledgeable, Cancers, of the type of friendships you entertain, okay? Maybe there's some issues going around, going around, hmm. Maybe there's some issues around your friendship circle. Maybe there's some gossip. Maybe there is just, I heard rifts, simple rifts is what I heard. So nothing too major, but I'm getting that if this is a soul lesson, Spirit is bringing to your attention what friendships you need to keep in your life, Cancers, and what friendships you need to let go of. And I think this is why surrender is here because it says, I can release my need to control. So maybe you're trying to hold on to some friends that Spirit wants to clear out of your way. You know, I had the same friend group for, for many, many years, ever since like high school. And as I begin to ascend and begin to um, really tap into my spiritual gifts, and when I went through my dark night of the soul, Spirit removed almost everyone out of my life, almost everyone, if not everyone. I would have to think back, um, if not everyone. So everybody is not meant to go on 
your journey for the full amount of your life, if that makes sense. Sometimes people are here, isn't there a saying like um, some people come into your life for a time, for a season, for a reason or something like that? Didn't they say something like that here? I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Look at it there, okay? <laughs> so that is what I'm getting. I'm getting you need to really evaluate your friendships right now. That is the sole lesson. So let's get into my divine guidance oracle and let's just see where this is playing out in your life specifically before we jump into some tarot and this is the deck that i created okay i'm really getting heavy on the friendship y'all i can't never talk and try to shuffle so let me just put the deck on deck down okay i just really feel like it's really centering around friendship right now for you cancers and i heard best friends okay so I don't know if there was some betrayal with a best friend. I don't know if you're side eyeing a best friend. And I heard unrequited love, which means if we're talking about friendships, I'm getting that some of the friends in your friend group, cancers, you may give a little more. Maybe you're always there for them when they call or, you know, lending a helping hand. If they need something, you're always there, but you're not getting that in return. And spirit wants you to Surrender the need to be liked is what I heard, okay? Surrender the need to be liked and truly surround yourself with people who are going to genuinely appreciate all that you bring to the table is what I heard, Cancers, okay? When I look at this card, I just see all of this squiggly, like it just looks like a whole bunch of squiggly mess is what I heard, right? So I don't know if things are messy for you right now, but there's something going on with that friend group, okay? So let me try to shuffle one more time. Let me shut my mouth. And my thoughts. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Clear the energy of this deck. Y'all see how when I don't say nothing, don't nothing come out. Okay. First one out, we have finding balance. Okay. And we have all of these butterflies on this towel. So definitely a transformation needs to be had you're in the friendship group maybe you are growing in whatever area in your life that quakes maybe there's some envy going on in the friend group maybe you are excelling in your career field or just in life and people want to ride your coattails and spirit is saying you really want to surround yourself with the right people okay give me one more how else is this playing out in cancer's life and we have essential oils what I'm getting with essential oils, because you use essential oils for all kinds of things, for healing, for calming. Yeah, you really don't want to ingest essential oils. It's normally for, you know, like aromatherapy type of thing. So I'm getting that these friends are not bringing positive energy into your life. Okay. And you really want to, I'm hearing you just really want to gain knowledge of the friends that you have. So maybe it's some stuff that you really don't know about your friend group, Cancers, because I just keep hearing that knowledge about your friends. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Being in the moment. And you know what? I saw a hidden lesson too. And I'm going to pull that out. With being in the moment for you, Cancers, I'm getting that you are in the moment, right? And I'm getting that you try to accept people for who they are, right? And you just want to enjoy that friendship at that time. But Spirit wants you to kind of look a little bit further. Spirit doesn't want you just to be in the moment. Like, so say you kicking it with your girls or your homeboys. And even though you know some shady stuff may be going on in that very moment, you just want to chill with them. You just want to bypass it. You don't want to deal with it. Maybe you're a person who doesn't like confrontation or if you do have confrontation, it's really going to go left. So you try to, you know, not really engage in things like that because you know what can set you off. I'm getting with that being in the moment. Spirit really wants you to survey everything when you are around these friends. This person is on a boat and they're by themselves. So you may have to have some solo time to yourself, especially if you are a person who is always around your friends. Okay, you may need to pull back a little bit so you really can truly see if you distance yourself, who would check on you, Cancer? Who would make sure that you are all right? Who would really show you the love that you are showing them? And this is a hidden lesson for you. And on this card, you see someone like in a uniform and then there's like a dad and two kids. So what I'm getting with that with the hidden lesson is 
Maybe your friends want you to be the same way as them because we have that uniform. Maybe you are the one that stands out and they want you to be like them and you are not one who like follows the crowd. And if that is the case, right? I just heard birds of a feather flock together. But I feel like you are flocking with people, Cancer, that are really not of your feather. But yeah, we're going to get some tarot on it because there's something with the friends. I can't quite grasp what it is right now. There's something with these friends. And it's something with everybody wanting to think the same, do the same. And spirit doesn't want you to do that. And there are friends around you that do not have your highest good in mind all right so let's get some tarot on it let me let me clarify what's going on here with these friends okay so if i split this up i would get that friendship goes with being in the moment in the hidden lesson and then i would say surrender is with finding balance and essential oils and if you are if friends are stressing you out right now if you're battling with someone close to you especially a best friend because i keep hearing best friend you may want to, you know, meditate with some essential oils. Let me hush for a minute. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> you may just want to um, meditate with some essential oils or just really get into a zen place. Whoever you surround yourself with, you want to make sure that they're keeping you in a zen place and not getting you over anxious is what I heard. Clear the energy of this deck. Okay, spirit. So with friendship, and again, it says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And also, purple also stands for truth. And it also stands for honesty. So make sure your friends are being honest with you. Okay? All right, spirit. Oh, heck no. Nah. That is way too much. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's a lot going on with these friends, okay? <laughs> Spirit, can I get one card? How? What action do you want Cancer to take in regards to the friend? Okay, there we go. Uh-uh. What I say? No, nah, heck no. Nah. What did I say? Did I not just say something about honesty? And the first card out is the Seven of Swords. And I am so sorry if that glare. Let me see if I can turn the light down just a little bit, y'all, because um, it's nighttime. Hold on. No dog on day. All right. Now, with the seven of swords, did I not just talk about honesty and truth? So there are some people being sneaky right now around you in that friend group. Okay. We have a fox that has two swords in their mouth. And then we've got one that just fell out of their mouth and five on the floor. So what I'm getting is, it's two people. It's two people right now that you really need to be watching out for. Since that one sword has already dropped, you may have already cut one friend out or distanced yourself from one friend, but there are still two other ones around you right now that are in a kind of sneaky and treacherous energy. And that's what Spirit wants you to watch out for. Was I not talking about the essential oils? Was I not talking about if you needed to calm your energy? Because we have the nine of swords, okay? That's anxiety. That's having nightmares and things like that. On this card, we have a woman who's elevating. Did I not say you're elevating? She's lifted up. And then we have these people down here that have their hands in their head. And it looks like a family. So some of these friends could be family members as well. Okay. I just truly feel like cancers, you're elevating. You're changing either the way you see things, your attitude, something in your life. Maybe some of you guys, I, I feel like people are envious of you. This is what I'm getting. Whether you just got a new relationship, they're envious of that. If you got a new car, they're envious of that. Whatever it is that is going on in your life, you have people who do not have your best interest at heart cancers. And this is what you want to surrender to spirit. Okay, don't let it keep you up in your head at night. Don't go over and over in your mind about what people are saying, what you may hear of people saying behind your back and something's pissing you off because I'm getting extremely hot right now. Okay, I don't know if maybe this is new to you and it's pissing you off as you're listening to it. Something is, is really uh, getting you, yeah, getting you mad, not even temperamental, getting you mad. And this seven of swords is sticking out more than anything. And I'm getting that until you realize what friends are really there for you and which ones are not there for you, you're going to keep having like sneaky people in your energy field, okay? Also got that if you were ever in the energy, right, 
where you were sneaky to other people. No judgment, right? The hidden lesson could be that what you put out, you get back. And maybe this is something that's coming around full circle. What I'm really getting is that there's someone treacherous in your energy field. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Spirit, what's going on with the Seven of Swords? Justice. Was I not just talking about the truth? With the magician, yeah. It's people around you that are manipulating you right now. Cancer, there are people who are not really trying to give you the truth about everything. And this is where you really want to have honest communication with these friends. You need to really have heart to hearts with these friends to make sure that they they have your best interest at heart. That's what I keep hearing, your best interest at heart. And you see how I put the seven of swords right over that magician and I didn't even mean to do that. So yes, people are definitely, they're trying to bring havoc in your life is what I heard. They're trying to bring havoc in your life. And I believe that that justice card is here so spirit can let you know, no. You can have justice. Don't let these people, you know, take you off your square. Don't let these people keep you in that nine of swords energy because you are in this nine of coins energy. Okay. So maybe some of you guys are single. Maybe you guys have friends who aren't single. Maybe they envy that. Maybe you're just ex excelling in, you know, every area of your life with that nine of pentacles and they're envious of that. There's definitely some envy and jealousy going around you, uh, Cam. And Spirit wants you to clear that out. I heard you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. And that also could be stopping you from being in the moment. Maybe you're trying to be in the moment and just enjoy the company of your friends. And then every time you turn around, somebody got something to say. And that could be putting you in this nine of swords energy. And Spirit is saying, no, see that hidden lesson. Let them all, you know, want to act the same with this uniform. Let them all want to act the same. You, you stand out. You be different. Okay. Spirit, what's going on with the surrender and finding balance and essential oils? And remember, surrender says, I can release my need to control. Okay. And we have the eight of wands and the two of coins. So with the eight of wands and the two of coins, and the eight of wands is about communication. Also, I'm getting social media. I don't know if you're going through social media wars with people. I don't know if you're just seeing posts, people sending subliminals and things like that. But with the two of coins, I'm getting that again, we have that too. I think it's two people in your life that are doing this. Two people. I'm not getting juggling. I'm not getting, well, we do have finding balance here. So that could also represent, you know, taking you off balance. But what I'm getting more so than that is it's something with like communication. It's something with either social media or Yeah, is this a lot? It's like a lot is coming at you in regards to this friends group. And Spirit wants you to cut that out. Okay, let me clarify the Eight of Wands. And it's like, it's like people keep running to you with bones. You see how they got that wine with all that fire? It's like people keep running to you with telling you stuff about what this person said or what that person said. And Spirit doesn't want you to listen to that noise is what I heard. Don't pay attention to that, okay? I'm getting you are balanced, okay? And I'm getting that they're trying to knock you off your balance. Fear, what's going on with this Eight of Wands? And we have the Hierophant. <laughs> I feel you got great wisdom, Cancer. Maybe you, maybe you, uh, you know, give good advice. And maybe they, I heard goody two shoes. Maybe they feel like you're too lofty or, they, yeah, somebody's just trying to like knock you down a peg. And spirit, does a, spirit wants you to use your wisdom. I keep hearing it. Use your wisdom and your knowledge about these friends. That's really all that I am getting. With the page of cups, don't be accepting people's apologies after they backstab you, Cancer. Don't be accepting that, okay? Because it's like they're going to hurt. Keep on doing stuff to you and then come and apologize. This is where you need to learn that lesson with that hierophant. Don't let it put you in the energies of the five. You know, the five of cups, sadness, crying, worry, five of swords, playing with your head. All right, five of pentacles, feeling like you're going to lose a friend, you know, if you speak up. All right, and then the five of wands, always feeling you have to compete with somebody or battle. It's something with your friend circle. What did I say? With the devil, yeah, it's toxic. Somebody in your friend circle is toxic, and I feel it's two people. Okay, so that is the soul lesson that you are learning right now, Cancers, is what friends you should keep in your life and which ones you shouldn't. Again, everybody is not supposed to go with you. And the Nine of Swords 
is standing out the most. You are elevating. Do you see that you are elevating? You are the one that's standing out in this friend group. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some wisdom to live by. And let's just see what spirit has to say as far as this. What advice spirit has to give you for this. And then I'm going to go ahead and get you some advice from the universe. And I'm going to go ahead and get you out of here. I don't want to make these too long because one, I want to make sure um, you guys like the style of reading. And I'm going to drop a whole bunch of different zodiacs. So I don't want to get too in depth. So as far as the soul lesson, again, we're working on our friendships, really learning the knowledge really learning the knowledge <laughs> of what friends need to be in our life and which ones are not and the ones that are not to be in our life spirit really just wants you to surrender that um, and let you know God handle it let spirit remove them out of your life because there are some snakes we got the devil with the seven of swords and that was the first card that came out with the magician yeah yeah and people are not being honest with you at all okay they're, they're lying basically to your face. And this may make you upset. Didn't I say something about getting mad? This may make you upset. I think this is where this finding balance is and this essential oils. And the fact we have a towel there, you got to cleanse yourself. You got to cleanse your, your uh, friendship group. You got to change some stuff around. It's time to get some people out. And with that essential oils, I'm really hearing lavender. Brought me back to that purple. Ra lavender really helps with anxiety and it helps you to relax. Okay. I would I would do that okay I keep hearing toxic friend group for wherever that that resonates so we have whatever you are feeling spend some time in isolation I cannot make it doggone up did I not say with this card right here I don't know if you can see they're small and that glare is there but do you see this person right here in that boat didn't I say that you may have to spend some time alone to really evaluate what these friendships are and who's really for for you whatever you are feeling Spend some time alone in isolation. Again, pull back. See which one of these friends really notices you're missing. See which one of these friends are going to come to your aid and really want to help you, really want to guide you. Just be there. Be a listening ear, not want nothing from you. Okay? I feel like you got some users and you... Y'all, that stuff irritates my soul. Okay? I, I swear it do. I feel like you have some users. <laughs> in your energy field good gosh team what stop worrying and live for today did i say something about them five stop worrying and live for today that goes back to being in the moment so don't worry if you're losing some of these friends especially if you've known them for a very long time especially if some of them are family don't worry about that live for today you have that nine of pentacles energy around you okay Live for today. Let spirit bring in the right people for you to bring you the right balance so that you can have people that support the things you want to manifest in your life and not make you feel that, yeah, like a goody two shoes is what I keep hearing. All right. We have life is about love. Absolutely. Life is about love. And spirit really wants you to bring people in your life that love you. Follow the universal law. Now, with follow the universal laws, that is like, so one of the universal laws is the law of rhythm, okay? That's where that pendulum swings back and forth, which means just like the law of cause and effect, whatever you put out, you get back. And if you've been putting out good things, right, the spirit is trying to remove these people who are not giving you the same that you are giving so that you can attract that. Also with follow the universal laws, Spirit is really saying that, because um, it brought me to this nine of cups, use the laws of the universe to work in your favor. Like the, the law of mentalism. I believe that's one of them. I used to know all the laws. They're on a poster in my living room. But, you know, the all is mental, which means everything starts in the mind. So you may first have to change your mindset around what you truly consider a friend and what you don't, what qualities do you want in a friend? What qualities can you be as a friend? I think that's going all back to the knowledge of friendship. We have for every problem, there's always a solution. Now, let's talk about maybe uh, getting into it with some of your friends. There's always a solution. If you do not know the solution, this is the time you want to get in isolation and really surrender to spirit. So spirit can let you know what's the best option for you in regards to these friends and then trust the nudges okay so this is letting me know spirit has already been letting you know that some of these friends ain't right 
and maybe again you've just been trying to hold on because you've just known them so long and you just want to bypass whatever no spirit is saying trust those nudges and go ahead and release these people who are not going to elevate with you is what i heard bottom of the deck i cannot make it up this says surrender i can release my need to control you saw me turn it over what does this say release the need to control so you're trying to control your world right now you may be trying to control some of these friendships right now if that's the case if that's where that rift is spirit is saying let people be their own person okay everybody here is you know learning different lessons and on their own path so again if you guys are venturing off because i just saw a split it, it may be time for you just to separate yourself. I think you need to separate yourself from people. Okay. So cancer, that is your reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's giving you the clarity that you need it in regards to what soul lesson you are learning right now and the advice that spirit has for you. If you enjoy kicking it with your girl, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. If it resonated or you want to drop a comment, just tell me your story or just say, hey girl, hey, go ahead and drop a comment. I truly do love your feedback if you are drawn to another zodiac sign i do encourage you not to just watch your moon sign and your sun sign but whatever thumbnail whatever title i ain't titled them yet whatever it's going to be that draws you i will go ahead to that sign as well because we all have different signs in our birth chart and i feel that you could get some messages from there as well okay please make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when i drop and if you have not subscribed and you enjoy kicking it with me please subscribe i truly enjoyed having you here cancer and we would love to have you join the fam bam okay so enjoy the rest of your day peace love and light